Aramaic in the New Testament, raka. Matthew 5.22 reads, But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin, and whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Now you see in red the word we are discussing today, but also there's the Gehenna word. And someone might ask, why don't we have a video on Gehenna? And that is merely because while that indeed could be an Aramaic word, it seems to be held in common with Hebrew, whereas Raqqa does not seem to come directly from Hebrew. And so here we have a convenient Bible translation in the New American Bible that has both of those words. But as for this Raqqa word, it seems like it comes from the Aramaic word Rekha, which we see in Kohelet Rabbah, 915, the first paragraph. Alas, empty ones, the flood is coming tomorrow. So the empty ones word in a kind of insulting epithet kind of way is that reka word in a plural form there. Now that having been said, Kohelet Rabbah was composed many centuries after the New Testament time. So a question is, did such a word appear before? And much closer to that time is Targum Onkelos. So this would be an adjective talking about the pit being empty in this fairly literalistic translation of Genesis 37, 24. But we see instead of Hebrew reik, reika, this word meaning empty. So used as kind of a insult word toward one's brother, empty headed, you know, like of no value, that kind of idea seems to fit.